Hey everybody, one of their Silver Bayonet Adventure. I'm back with Jay, and after massive casualties in our previous game, we're back with the scenario number nine, the Infested Monastery. Our two warbands in a ruined monastery are beset upon by bandits, and of course, something supernatural is taking place. So we'll show you the table, show you the two warbands, and get this underway. All right, so here's my warband. After Ramirez's death, the Vatican has sent the child uh, to come and investigate this ancient monastery. He will be leading the warband from here on out. Um, and he is an officer with a bonus to his melee, his courage, and his health. Uh, he's only like 15 now, which is why he's significantly smaller than everybody else. He's armed with a uh, breastplate, a fencing weapon, a pistol, and a cartridge box. And he knows great faith and nimble, uh, as he's not weighed down as much as everybody else. Stop yeah. using child soldiers, Spaniard! <laughs> listen, listen, we're going to a monastery. We had to bring the golden child. The prophecy says that he will lead us to defeat the Harvestmen. Uh, we have Inquisitor Rubio, who's not sure about all of this, as he doesn't like his authority being questioned, and the Kool-Aid man himself, Vakmeister Breiner. Then we have Delgado, who I guess has been adjunted to um, uh, the, the rest of the group, and then we have our three Grenadiers, one of which who is new, and his name is Torres. And here are uh, Archibald... Archibald Tavington's slightly less chosen men. <laughs> um, the randomly selected men. So Le uh, Lieutenant Tavington and his two riflemen are in the center. Uh, to his left is, of course, Angus McHaggis and our trooper cadets, <laughs> Angus Rogers McHaggis, and Deering. Angus McHaggis coming down off the cocaine leeches. Yeah, no he's, uh, he's, definitely, uh, he's definitely got the, got the itches. Is anyone's skin really itchy right <laughs> now? <laughs> you guys have as many bugs in your eyes as I do. <laughs> do you feel like ants are eating your corneas? Because that's how I feel. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else's teeth feel real flat? <laughs> <laughs> and then our two newest recruits, uh, our artillerist, Sir Simon, uh, who is here with his fancy new hat? Ooh. And our Marine, Mr. Gibbs. Mr. G Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs, forward! Lead the men! Alright, so there it is with your recruits. Here is the ruined monastery. Our unit has been tasked with exploring a ruined monastery high in the up on top of a lonely, dusty plateau. Once upon a time, the monastery was home to an order of monks that specialized in fighting against demons and demonic possession. Whilst that was several centuries ago, there remains a chance that the ruins still contain some of the tools of the trade, weapons, and knowledge that could be useful in a fight against the Harvestmen. Three ruined towers and one, two, three, four, five, six clues on the table, uh, as well as five bandits who've set up camp here. Now we're trying to investigate, and uh, you know, there there might be a reason this monastery got ruined. Like, for instance, something got loose and killed all the monks. Up our deck of cards, it's uh, ace through eight of spades, and we'll dice off right now for two inch deployment. Haha, <laughs> interference to tie. I, I thought that didn't benefit me at all. <laughs> now I've lost. <laughs> we'll be back after we deploy. Child, hang out with Delgado, and then we have uh, this is the new Santiago, actually, Torres, and I think it's Ramirez over here. And then Briner and the Inquisitor Rubio in the center. Across from us, we have Mr. Gabs. Uh, yeah, Mr. Gibbs uh, and um, Angus McHaggis with one of their rifleman friends. Uh, in the center, we've got uh, Lieutenant Tavington and Sir Simon. And then uh, on my left, Hero Squad, which is Cadet Rogers, <laughs> Cadet Deering, and Blythe. And Blythe! <laughs> Pick up your rifle, Blythe. You going first on turn one. I have a five. Ah, yes, we've seized the Wait, initiative. What? You're not supposed to lose? What? This since last game. <laughs> Alright, so half my group gets to go. Uh, we're just going to start with, I think, the Team Extreme. Uh, we'll be walking forward to try and take position next to this. We're going to go up to here, six. I like to think of them as Team Ewok Village 2000. That's fair. And then we're just going to move again. I'm not going to bother rolling because I'm only going two inches into cover. Same over here. We're going to move and then just make another two inch move into cover. A seven, so I should get one, one more because running down. We're just gonna go again because I know that these, I know that these monsters is coming after us. Five and then two more. We'll go hide behind the crate, and then we'll let the the baddies come. So nearest thing they can see. So no movement. He's just gonna start shooting over here. Uh, he's a bandit, so he shoot plus one. No, he's shoot plus zero actually. I think. You're gonna shoot me. Uh, so seven. Not so much. That will not be my defense of roughly fifteen right now. So he's fired. So I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna turn fire. And fire back. I believe you're probably closest, so you'd be the one you'd be shooting. And we will be shoot plus one. Defense on a bandit is what, 12, 13? Uh, it is 12. 12, and I'm plus one. That's a 12. Five points of damage to the bandito. It's plus, plus one. one for cover. I shall re roll the power die. And Folks saved him. Down to one. 
And this one will be shooting at, it looks like, Santiago. Okay. He'll be 15 in cover. Uh, that is a 13. All right. Uh, so then he'll shoot back as well. I forgot I moved this turn as well, so I'm plus one. So I'm actually, or minus one, so I'm actually zero to hit him. So on a 12, and he's in cover. That's an 11. I will reroll that one, though, because that's a, that's a decent roll. Ooh, let's do eight damage. It's an 18, um, so I'm zero power dice left. Had... It's just this little fella, probably also shooting Santiago, okay. who is effectively defense 15. No, 16. That's super bad, so that's gonna be eight damage to him. It's a good thing he's new. Uh, he's got 11. <laughs> Don't get attached to the new ones. Never get attached to anyone apparently in this game. He's got three remaining. He's already fired, so he can't fire back. Up top, yeah, I'm probably also shooting at him. Oh, yeah. It's getting getting guns hot up here with the bandits. I guess that's the problem with going first. Yeah, it's getting closer to them. They, you draw the fire. Uh, uh, oh dear. 14. Uh, so I'm uh, 15 right now? Cover, so it misses. Can't return fire. I could <laughs> die for cover I'm already in. Vaguely. Just vaguely on top of him, yeah. He will not be able to see anybody, so he'll actually move towards me. Nope. And then shoot. Sh that's where he is. But it's the closest model he can oh, see, Oh, right? I'm sorry. So then he moves to be able to see. Oh, no, you're right. He would shoot down that way, wouldn't he? Because you because they don't move at all if they shoot. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, so I guess it would be that rifleman, and he shoot plus zero. Bang! I'm defense thirteen. Uh, I'm a monster die that I think. <laughs> he has a five. It's ten damage. Uh, I will use a power die to try and reduce, and reduce that. some of that. Yeah. Otherwise, he's gonna get unrifleman. Then so he'll live. So I'm going to reduce it by... Potato? Roll, no, roll, no. roll it again, roll it again, roll it again, there's no way. Uh, uh, by two. two. And she's got three left. three left, yeah. And you could dive for cover, you just can't go towards him, so you can go left or right. <laughs> That's right. I mean, as is tradition, we don't, we don't dive. These, these numbers don't run. Cover? Cover. <laughs> is that a French term? He's a 13 in cover. Uh, and I am plus two accuracy. That'll do, 14. That's a 14. And it's a um, rifle though, so it's four damage. I'll take that four damage. And with a ten, he's got eight. No, four damage. He has six left. Monster in time over. So it's over to your entire team. It's crime fighting working. time for me. <laughs> All right. Reload. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put that guy right back down there. Uh, so he's going to be once again a thirteen in cover. I'm gentrifying your neighborhood, <laughs> bandit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he sends him to God. That is, uh, That's exactly six more. Yeah, okay. so six more damage, and he is he's go <coughs> gone to meet the lords of the monastery. Recover, but his head is missing. <laughs> Mr. Gibbs, <laughs> take aim, Mr. Gibbs. Uh, actually, we'll do McHaggis first. Ah, uh, yes. So he will. McHaggis his way forward. Yeah. And then he's gonna do some running. He is gonna run down a dream. The sweats aren't that bad, I guess. You want another four? Mr. Gibbs. <laughs> Mr. Gibbs, hoist them as a mast. Fire one past their nose. Fire across the nose of that guy. That gentle fellow. All right, he's back. not in cover because the smoke's on the other side of him. So you just uh, straight up 12. And Mr. Well, last one because you moved, though. So it's zero. So that is oh, uh, not, not good. Mr. Gibbs has not got his land legs yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What is this? Some sort of land boat? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this large, this large, uh, this large island seems to go on for quite a ways. Uh, Lieutenant Tavington will move forward, and then he will I'll rifle that guy in the back. Rifle that guy. That's oh, right. He will duck for cover. Actually, he ducks for cover sideways oh, right. away from you. So we'll shoot that bandit. Uh, I well, am plus two. Minus one for moving. Uh, oof. It's all going quite poorly. <laughs> Your powder is not dry. Deering, get over here! <laughs> Deering, solve Deal with this! Deal with this for me. The lieutenant shouldn't have to shoot his own gun. <laughs> My poor uh, guy. Deering is plus one. Uh, no, that is. continues 10, to be 11? not good enough. He needs to duck for whatever he can find cover wise. <laughs> You're half the man that Theopolis was, so go take care of this. More, more shooting, in the, more back shooting the, uh, back the shooting. bandits. Yeah, and teach you the, the king's back shooting. Uh, hey, for the record, that you brought your own dice. Those are not my dice. <laughs> These are the dice I was cheating. I mean, winning with so many times. I know. Time. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Live. Live. Take care of this. <laughs> Fire your weapon, Blythe. This is this has got to be the time that you just take his head right off. It's a thirteen in cover. 
Uh, you move, it's your plus one. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god! I mean, it doesn't even add up to ten. Come on, Jack. I, 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 Simon <laughs> will advance and then attempt to run into those ruins. For science! He's <laughs> running for science quite well. There's a large glowing stone here. I'm sure that's fine. The other half of my group going. Uh, we'll start with Rubio. He's gonna put this guy's blood back in his body with a prayer. Then walk over to here and add his will of plus four. He needs a ten. Gets it. So he'll regain three health and go to six. He's like, hey, buddy, you're fine. Just uh, put your feet up. Just, just. Yeah, that's right. If I could turn back time, I'd put your blood back in your body. We're gonna go six over to here. That's how the words go. And then he's gonna run. Kool-Aid Man is way forward. Oh, yeah! Briner's getting... He's all about momentum once he gets going. <laughs> I hear the crunch of his, his yeah, boots. <laughs> so here comes... I don't know what's more disturbing. I don't know if you were actually doing a voice there. Um, and then we're gonna run. And fail, actually, because we're only moving oh, five. Wow. Yeah, we're only moving five. I forgot because I'm wearing the breastplate, so I only get to go two more. But he's nimble, so he ignores the difficult train at least. We're on a breastplate on the small child. Uh, Delgado's gonna move forward. And I believe he's also nimble, potato, question mark? No, he's not. He'll just run. Uh, he gets to go, though, and he'll just hang out with Briner. Ready to fight. All right, that is turn one complete. Uh, now, if we, either of us rolls a one more for our initiative check, the wind picks up. I'd like to add an additional effect that as soon as the wind picks up, all the smoke goes away. Yeah, that, that feels sense. like That Let's feels like a that. good extra thing to do tier two. We tie, we try again. This is our way. Alright, so you have the initiative of your group. We'll activate Sir Simon first. Oh, he's gonna go and investigate. He's gonna go there, and then he will investigate. While I was in the Galapagos, I found a giant glowing rock just like this. It was covered All in right, penguins. Alright, Sir Simon, what do we get? The Jack of Spades. A blessed knife! Treat all the investigating figures melee attacks as blessed for the rest of the scenario. Ah, oh, excellent. Fantastic. Well, excellent. He's like, I, I'm sure this blood covered knife at the base of the stone means nothing, nothing significant. Mr. Gabs! And reload. He's going to. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. He's going to go there. He doesn't know how to use the firearm. He's going to make a run check. <laughs> okay. You fire well, it once and then you use it as a club. <laughs> it goes to the top of the stairs. I mean, in naval combat, that's basically how it works. Now it's my stabber. Uh, so. Tavington will reload mm -hmm. and fire! And give him the king's business. So plus two. Uh, you need a ten. Uh, that'll do it. That Three damage, though. A 12. Hmm. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Does he only have two left? He only has two left. Oh, then yes. That's then, then we will just... Very adequate. <laughs> that's Extra exa adequate. Exactly even. what I wanted. Precisely. Precisely. One, two, three. He shot him just enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't overshoot. That's right. Don't use too much shooting. Uh, only use the right amount of shooting. So, Blythe... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just continues to backshoot this guy. Uh, he'll basically be a 13 in cover. Now, you didn't move this time. Uh, plus two. Uh, oh, terrible! I mean, he's one point better than his last terrible. shot. Terrible! He's slightly more dialed in. Four. Well, then, sir, here come the baddies. Uh, you are now the closest Mr. McHaggis, so you're going to get shot by this guy. I'm gonna reload and fire. Uh, he is shoot zero. 13. A uh, 13, you say? Ooh, you take nine? Hmm. Have nine, yeah. Definitely gonna have to try. Oops. That's use power die. That's a one. I'm gonna use my power die to damage reduce that. Okay, nine goes down two. Oh, by two. So seven. seven. Two remaining. Now you can dive for cover, you just can't go towards him. But if you he has he has maybe brought himself into murder range. Yes. Don't forget, okay. You hold true to yourself. Um this guy's dead, this guy's dead, this guy's still got Briner, I think, closest, so he'll reload. And then fire again, defending his pile of crates. Briner's a mighty 14. My mom gave me these crates! <laughs> That's right. Oh no! Uh, terrible. <laughs> Briner terrible! Will, Briner will return fire with his pistol. Why not? Eight, so he's in range. Uh, he is not very good with it. He'll mostly just throw it at you. He's plus one accuracy. Uh, he hasn't moved this turn, but you are in cover, so zero. Needs a 12. Oh, well, we got a skill die lab. We're gonna reroll it! That's uh, five damage. Power, that's yeah. right, yeah, it is nine damage. So I reeled the power down, that's right. Uh, so I have one, one skill dive sorry, remaining, and he's got one, one health, health left? Yeah. Ouch. And he will dive for cover. Ah. Just to fill up top, I think he can only really see Briner still. Oh. So he'll reload and fire. Maybe, no, I don't think he can see him through this parapet, so I think it's gonna be Briner. On a 14. 
That is not a 14. Negative. So that is all the baddies done. Uh, so it is on to the Spanish. Uh, we will start here. Who are also the baddies. Who are, who are not not the baddies. Uh, so we're going to stay not reloaded over here. Oh, no, he didn't get shot at, actually. So he is still loaded. So he's just going to walk across and go two, four, six. Take cover and investigate. What do we find? The nine of spades, which is gold and silver cross at a power die to my fate pool. Fantastic. I needed, that's exactly what I needed. Um, and then he's all done. We will reload and fire into the back of him as we were taking our keys from the English with the back shooting. Kill plus one, defense 12. Uh, critical, that guy just suffers an existence failure. <laughs> bang bang you're dead. He's very into murdering. He has however fired his pistol right now though. <coughs> so he's just gonna go six to here and then he'll run. Mm, do we make our run check? We sure do. Get into base contact with that. He's like, I dare you. I double dog. There dare seems you. like there's an awful lot of zeros on those <laughs> dice over there. I know. I know. These dice that you are not using. So we're going to walk with him five and then make a check and then get up the parapet. So five will take us to the stairs. The other four will get us on top. And be ready to be the golden child. Gato has not fired, I don't think. So he's going to go six. Like meow. And then he's gonna take a shot into this guy. He has a, ah, you know what, no, he's gonna run. He's just gonna make a run check and he'll go to the corner. Another, so uh, another zero there, huh, Ash? So it's one <laughs> and he's just on the edge. Yeah, just, just throwing yeah. zeros. They're, they're actually tens. <laughs> I know you think they're zeros, but they're not. So we're gonna yeah, reload. 10 side of die number 10 to 10. <laughs> 10, <laughs> 10 times. times. <laughs> this is 10 times. <laughs> the, the, the instances of 10 in this 10 side of dice are higher than normal. Uh, so he's gonna fire back. One minus one for cover, he hasn't moved, so he needs not that. And Rubio is gonna pray at him again at plus four, we do. So he goes back up to nine health. And then he's just gonna take a walk and go two, four, six behind the building. So that's all done. The investigation continues. Back to you in the second half of your group. Absolutely. Uh, so Cadet Colonel Deering will reload and fire <laughs> and get to blasting at the golden child no the golden child care for your ponciness you chose the wrong day for bring your <laughs> child to work day spaniard <laughs> uh that will be a miss he's a 14. i am going to re-roll that skill die okay here it comes that is an awful lot of damage yep that'll do it i'll take All right, that so i will it's it's ten damage. He'll have four damage. left, and then he'll die for cover. But you might kill him with the boss. Yeah, we'll spend a the boss skill is die. Fun. That's why he's turned backwards. Oh, that's right. So I can keep track of which of my guys mm, going. You're blood bowling it. I see. But I will in fact shoot you with this. <laughs> I will. I, will. I have a rifle, not a musket. <laughs> that's fair. So you shoot thirty. Um, I will reduce with a power die. No, with a skill die, I'll reduce. I reduce by. Three. So I take seven, I have seven remaining. I forgot her sideways and be like, no thank you. Damn thing to keep him getting shot over here. Reload! Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> That's right. Present arms! Uh, I'm on 14, you're on plus two, because you're a rifleman. I'm not above murdering a child, <laughs> Spaniard! <laughs> Uh, that worked out great because that is a skill die this I, time for damage. I guess now I reduce again. Ah, uh, don't die! Yeah! So I reduce it by five and take four more. I'm down to three. And I have very little cover to, to dive to, but I'll, I'll move into it if I can. Building belongs to us. Uh, so you have not gone yet. So uh, Rogers will reload and fire at uh, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> Kool Aid Man at Bachmeister Briner? But why? Die, Kool Aid Man! Oh no! <laughs> He's a 14 15 for cover. Uh, oh and dear! That is a seventeen. Well, I'm completely out of dice, so he's gonna take seven or nine. He's gonna take nine. No, because he get the right dice at the right time. All right, he has fourteen health. He has five remaining, or he has thirteen health. He has. Oh no, he got DB wounded. He has. He got healed, so he's at whatever's right. full he wounded. So he only has one health left, uh, and he'll move into cover. Be like, no thanks, no, no more of that. Guns were good. So, yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> right? So he's gonna go. Your first turn, they didn't seem so great, but now they seem there. amazing. And then he's gonna try and run up those stairs. Take the high ground, Anakin? Oh, he Which sure do. Will. So he will stand there. 
sadly with his <laughs> wound marker. That's right, Every, everyone's dying. I'm uh -huh. shot, sir, everyone's shot! <laughs> and I got it. That's it. All right, end turn. Initiative round three. Uh, that's you. That's a four. I'm gonna get our McHaggison on while it's still, <laughs> right. still while there. it's still possible, yeah, so he can run away. What does he find? It's the Queen, Queen of Spades. Spades. Silver Exorcist Tools. These could prove invaluable in the fight against the Harvestman. If the figure that investigated the clue exits the table, the tools are secured. If this figure is killed, place a marker next to it. Any figure may now pick them up by ending a move adjacent. And I will move. <laughs> and I will uh, boogie boogie boogie. With my stolen silver. I'm in the tower lot and no one's ever going to see it again. We both know what's happening right now. You're just stealing from gift. the monastery. It was presented to us by it the locals. It belongs to the Vatican. It belongs in a museum. Uh, so we're going to activate Mr. Gibbs. Okay. And I'm going to pretend there's some kind of stairs. You just climb. You just make a climb check. Okay. Just double move. So you move three up to it and then so you go one go and a half three, up. Yeah. And then one you just and make half, a climb and check. And he'll do his run. Yeah. You get to the top. Yep. To the top he goes. Uh, rigging climbing he does. He's like a monkey, he just climbs up. It's like a oh. long-limbed orangutan. What is two? And then Mr. Bryna. <laughs> Mr. Bryna? How dare you? Just because he's a large red target closest to you than all of my <laughs> other guys. Uh you gonna tapping to them? There's two different things there, yeah. Oh, okay. so, yeah. yeah. We've, we've been ripping them into pieces, so we have no idea what's going on. Alright, Brian's in cover for a 15 and you're plus two. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yay! I've completely into cover. <laughs> I dive the hell out of here. <laughs> Are you gonna harm a child again? I no! Like to make my kill the boy roll. <laughs> okay, you need a 14. With your guns. Time to get a new Pope Spaniard! <laughs> Why? It's we're good. That's a plus two. That's a 12. 14. 14. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I got that it was 9 damage, and I have oh. no dice to reduce it with. Well, the child was leading us, and is no longer. Well, it's monster in time. He's gonna take a shot at Delgado, because he's the closest. Alright. And he can't see Briner anymore. Hooray! Not so much. Uh, he will also take aim and shoot Delgado, because it's all he can see. Does Delgado want to shoot back or anything? Uh, Delgado's fine with where he is. I'm assuming uh, back. Do I want to shoot back? You know what? I will shoot back. I will do that. Good good call. So I'm plus one, minus one for your cover. I miss. Sorry, Fell up top. Me. Yep. Great. Okay. So that's going to be a 17. 10 <coughs> damage. Delgado has 10 health. And down he goes. Bandits are loose. It you seems. always put the sniper at the top of the tower. I just, so. That's where he's supposed to go. Okay, so now my turn. Uh, I have significantly less friends to, to help, but we're going to do some stuff. We're going to start with Inquisitor Rubio. Um, he's going to move to just out of line of sight, but in line of sight of Briner, and shout a prayer at him. Briner, put your blood back in your body! <laughs> we do. At exactly what we needed. So he's got four health left. And Brian's just gonna, just gonna sneak just out a little bit, and he's gonna and he's gonna search this for health for the moment. <laughs> the Ace of Spades. Nothing. Place a possessed at the center point of a random table edge. So a D8 will go one, two, clockwise, and the monster shows up over here. Dun 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 dun. That's not what we want. Uh, so Mr. Gibbs, monster <laughs> on your port <laughs> side. <laughs> right. Monster to port. Uh, Hard to port, monsters. I guess that means we've not really found anything useful, which it means the useful things are on the top of one of these towers. <coughs> we go over here and we start shooting monsters with this grenadier. He's just gonna shoot between the trees. Uh, the possessed has a has great faith, so his account, his stuff does count as blessed, which is nice. Um, so he is defense twelve. I'm shooting after moving, so I'm plus zero. I'll take that, 17. So that's gonna be 10 damage to the possessed. Uh, and he started with 14. So he's got four left. Good Mediocre. thing. That's right. Good thing I've got my freaky people here. Uh, then I'm gonna reload. And I guess pay one to move across, and then I'll go five. Oh, you know what? We'll just go back. We'll go around. Four and then six around to here. It's you. You're gonna reload, and I guess shoot at the sniper who's killing all of our guys. Uh, and fire at plus one, minus one for cover, so we need a 12. Nothing. Everybody's left gone. I have one, two, three, four, five models all finished. It's over to you. All right. Hello, Mr. Bryna. <laughs> That's right. There's a large red Kool-Aid shaped man over there. I believe he requires some artillering. 
Is that oh that is eight. eight, so I am nope. Just out. Move first. So I guess he'll have to move first. Bring the guns. No, I got you're no. completely ignoring the bandit. <laughs> He's shooting the large red cone headed man. Other options for our bandits. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, so this is Sir Simon. So you move, so I'm effectively 14, 15, 16 for cover. And Sir Simon is only plus one. So you moved, so plus one, and you 16. That's a 15. Uh, and that will. Mm, yeah, that's gonna have to just be. Just okay. <laughs> oh, I die for cover. <laughs> Live and the other two it's recruits. Two guys, yeah. yeah. Um, Making a, I, I believe the term is kill box. I don't know what a Napoleonic kill box is. So Blythe will poof, attempt to finish off that bandit. No, right in the back. So 12 goes to 13 for the cover. Gonna shoot you in the bandit. Uh, Blythe is. Four. He's rolled a three, four, five. It's getting better by one every time he fires his muscle. As long as this game goes 12 turns, he'll he's be fine. dialed it in. Yeah. All right. He's only seven turns of shooting away from hitting a bandit. Deering? Deering? <laughs> show him how it's done. More of the same. All right. Uh, that one's in the oh, it's the, the fantastic. The, why? Stop. <laughs> I have a quarrel with you, sir. And then Cadet Captain Rogers will reload and advance. Take the monastery. Is round. Well then, things have gone differently. Uh, time for some initiative. Let's see who's going first. It's still you, but not ah, the wind blows. All so all right. the smoke clears. Thank God, because I lost track of which was which. <laughs> but we have to make a TN14 test whenever we want to move now, or we suffer speed minus two. Yeah, just because he has his sea legs, he's fine. He's gonna we'll pick a card on the card. Investigating. The Ten of Spades. The Ten of Spades is a book of demonic sketches. You get a monster to add to the fate pool. Yeah. It's a good book of demonic sketches. It's like, ah, I found one of these when I was sailing the South Seas. Plominos. Beginning climbing, yep. Hex is going to begin heading to the Highlands. And then a, a run check. And then a run check. I'm getting really itchy. We need to get out of here. Yeah, off he goes. Where's the doctor? That's right. <laughs> Sir Simon will reload and fire at Briar. No! Oh, which means there will be smoke. Poof. The smoke begins. You're minus two to your firing checks right now, though, because of the wind. Fair enough. So you so are... Net minus one. Yeah, I'm effectively 17 and you're plus one. Uh, and that is... 12. 12. 13. He shall stay where he one, is, because his pistol is still unloaded. And I have one more. Well, I guess it's time to get going and hope for the best. <laughs> so, okay, Captain Rogers will go there, and then run check. Ten. To the stairs. One, two, three, four, is four. All right, it's just monster in time. This looks like it's gonna be me getting shot. Shooting the Rubio, who is a 13, 14 for cover. Plus nothing, no. Uh, right. Third first. So that is the monster in phase. It's on to me. Well, let's start with Rubio. Oh, there's another monster. Oh, right, right. Well, he starts coming after the Spanish, heading over to here. And that's it. That's Rubio, uh, and he's going to try and put more of Brian's blood back in. He does, so it's a seven now. Uh, Briner's gonna start climbing, because he's nimble, so climb check. That'll pass, so he moves his Six, and then his four more on top. Just gets in the combat with this guy. Climbs like one of those like movie werewolves where he's just punching his hands into the stone and like, yeah, just like, ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk. All right, we're gonna reload over here. Uh, this is Santiago, and he's gonna fire at your fellow over. Sir oh, Simon! No, no, I'm not gonna fire at Sir Simon, I forgot about you. Recruit. So I'm plus one, minus one for your cover. And that will do nothing. Braze uh, you have great faith and you do not, so you're going to reload and danger close this possessed. It's a 12, it's getting demony around here. Uh, that's a nine, nothing. You are loaded, so you're just gonna take a shot. Once again, 12, basically 13 for cover. Oh, that'll do it, nine damage, minus two for damage reduction is seven. He's got four left. No, don't bring demons down to Demon Town. Come to the Vatican if you want none of that business, and then we'll just reload. Nothing else to do. So it's back to you. Okay. So Blythe. 
You getting bloodthirsty? <laughs> yeah, I can't see. And I'm about first. I don't move. Oh, that stinks. Okay, so he'll reload. And then fire at that guy. <laughs> at, uh, yeah, at Santiago. I was hoping to pick off your witch. <laughs> <laughs> like, just because your king made his own church doesn't mean I'm wrong. Uh, and Ooh, that is... Blythe, you got a, an eight this turn. Oh, You're going up. That's that's significantly higher than last turn. Lynn Blythe. <laughs> you skipped three turns ahead. Um, <laughs> You're going to be on lemon juice duty, Blythe. Can't quite see them. Ring? We'll reload. And then move. I'll pay one to move over that, so we'll come back a bit. And shoot Santiago? No, she reloaded for... Or he reloaded. Oh, right, reloaded, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't forget, even though they don't have smoke. That's they're right, they're all, they're all empty. Uh, and then uh, Tavington. Oh, Tavington. <laughs> I mean, you've got one of the two relics. The other one's clearly in this tower. Yeah. And I'm about to try and murder this peasant for it. So <laughs> Tavington will go there. I've almost got all the blood back in his body, though. I'm it's, going it's, to shoot <laughs> Fair enough. Bryna! <laughs> the large red man appears to be trying to take off Thing. Oh, uh, that's not going to do it. He's 14 base. I got cover. Oh, that's the only one I can reroll. Yay! Oh! Safe again. Look for you, sir. And we will activate my rifleman. No, no. I don't think so. <laughs> and I'm going to cover the, the retreat. It's so. going to handle this. It'll be fine. And that will be everyone. All right. Five initiative. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> once again. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I'm so amped right now! <laughs> hey, come my Kool-Aid, man. How dare you? Reload and fire? <laughs> All right, get that 15. You still no, got no, that sweet 20. smoky colors. It's just 20. It's just 20. <laughs> you only roll 20 now. Oh, uh, I have bad news. You still can't reroll the red die. <laughs> no, I still can't roll it. We will activate um, Rogers. <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> Rogers, to the tower, Rogers. He's I know dead. you're new. Um, oh no, this is going to plug him on oh, the way. Oh, he's reloaded, yeah. He's going to yeah. shoot that guy. Yeah. He's going to shoot your witch. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the open. No. He doesn't even have a gun. He can't even shoot back. He's just an old man. You wouldn't shoot an old man with a walking stick, would you? Well, if if we'll shoot a child, we'll <laughs> shoot an old man. <laughs> if the king says so. Yay! Yeah, I'm not going to run. Okay, his okay. defense was 14, but no, wait, 13. <laughs> <laughs> Our go. treasure. <laughs> Off to the opium den to get less itchy. Three. Mr. Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs. Right, well, I found the demon he's and a his part, so he'll book of demonic crayon around. drawing. Yep. Yeah. And he runs far, so he's good. Yeah, so he'll go there ish. Yeah. Three time. Briner gets bayoneted potentially by this right. peasant. Uh, you rolled to hit him on a 14. Uh, uh, 12. I am going to spend a monster. I die. figured you would. Uh, you're doing power damage. So you want yes. to roll probably the red die? How bad could it be? Oof. No! That bad, apparently. Rut row. Well, he's gonna fight back. Drive you back, but he'd much prefer to apply sword at plus three. Uh, no! Oh, no! What both, sword? And we're both tired. Humbled and dropped my sword, so now I'm using my bare hands. My briner hands are equally dangerous. They're registered weapons. Uh, so, it's on to me. Well, I will briner hand you. <laughs> Just plus three. Yeah, but I'm improvised now, so I'm minus, I'm minus one damage. Uh, and I'm tired, so I'm only plus two to hit. But you are also tired, so your defense 11, so it just nets out. Uh, that will do nothing. That's only a total of eight, nine, ten. It's back, yep. Okay. Heading on, I'm defense 13 now. Take this, Bryna! Don't you dare, don't you dare! <sighs> Stupid dice! <laughs> I'm significantly relieved. Uh, Our next battle report is chess or checkers. I'm not playing right. any more of these dice games. <laughs> We're gonna play Plinko from now on. I'm gonna reload and uh, shoot at the guy trying to climb my tower. Uh, that's 12. That'll, I believe, hit. Uh, so are you shooting at Rogers? Yeah, 13 total. He is a 13. That'll hit him. Eight damage. Eight damage, you mm -hmm. said. Uh, yeah. Down to two. Rubio's gonna go. Uh, he's going to, I think, just run away. Because I think we've we've done all we can for Briner. And then we're going to make a run check. And pass with a six and go hide in the cover behind here. You two need to save us. Uh, we're going to, I guess, turn around and reload. And then come up six to here. And 
plug this fella. 13, 14, because I moved, and I'm at plus one. Uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of damage. That's a 16. <laughs> <laughs> Suffers existence failure, and is now unloaded. All done, over to you, your remaining models. Okay, so that would be these three. Okie doke. Um, hmm. Wasn't planning on not being there. Uh, we'll um, and being dead and stuff. So we'll activate Sir Simon. Sir Simon will run over to the stairs. I need someone to climb this tower, please. And then, you know what? I'll just reload. I'll just stand there and reload. Fair enough. You're going to go first anyway, you know, as is, <laughs> as is tradition. Um, Blythe and your last Deering. recruit, Deering. So Deering will move up. Oh. Well, hello, Santiago. Mm, or Briner. All right, fair enough. Take a shot. Take this, Briner. Oh! What? Hey guys. Reload. <laughs> Just shoot Santiago. Fair. <laughs> I'm a 14 in cover. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna roll nine. That's anyway. fine. I'm sorry. I'm a 15. A 15 in cover. Still more than nine. And you're busted. Uh, oh, 12, 12, 14. I'm 15 in cover. And I've got the wrong reroll again. No. I'm six. And the fight for the tower continues. It's like Ramirez on the road. Oh, Jeez, three. I didn't screw it up this huh. time. Huh. Never seen that. Huh. What's going on, guys? I don't know how this game was played. <laughs> so I have two that can go right now. I think we just do this the easy way instead of the hard way. We reload and we plug him in the back. No! <laughs> Sir Simon's getting shot at plus one. What's his defense? That's a fair question. Sir Simon is 13. Defense fancy pants. All right, so putting that back down. 13, I need a 12 or higher on plus one. That'll do it. That's gonna be seven damage. That's fourteen total. Okay. Fire back. Oh, return we got fire. To move for cover. Oh, that definitely makes sense. So I will plug you again. Load afterwards. So that's gonna be a plus one, but minus cover now. So you're effectively what? You're thirteen. 13 normally, so 14. fourteen. Oh, and I don't have any dice. So close. Then I'll reload. You guys, three will go with Santiago. He's gonna reload and fire over here at Deering. Plus one, that's a 16 total, that's a nine damage. And would you like to dive for cover? Oh, uh, no. All right, well that's all my guys who can go. Actually, I couldn't do that. I round down, so you're fine. If I only have one, two, three, four, five guys left, and I round down. Mr. Gibbs? And then almost taking it off, yeah. Four more inches. Damn, he goes first. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, monster in time. Monster. That's right. On a fourteen, he's not tired anymore. <sighs> not quite. He gets oh, back. Oh, no, hold on. That was a seven. Oh, you could reroll the. Uh, you could reroll out of the monster. That. That. Yes, you could. Long pool of dice. Smart, smart. Come on, ten. Get that fourteen. <gasps> oh, down he goes. <sighs> Poor. Um, so All right, now you get to go. Right, <laughs> yeah. So he'll move. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go to Sir Simon. Sir so Simon's gonna climb. So he's. It's four up, and then two over, and then he can make a run. Yeah. He'll make it. So up to the edge, and then like just gonna like into there probably. He's oh. like four, right? The climb to freedom. He makes the first climb. Okay, and then you went first. This is everybody. Yeah, so you get to go Got to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um. Blythe, just leave. Just, just leave. Home. We're all tired of this. <laughs> I, just, I don't even want to watch this. We've anymore. gotten them at the museum once. Just, <laughs> yeah, just go home, Blythe. Just, just leave. Everyone's sick of you. You're such a failure. You're so you're so disappointing. You're bad, and you should feel bad. You should, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Tomington? No, wait. Uh, Deering. Deering. Reloading. <laughs> Getting in with Santiago, who in an alternate history almost killed him. This timeline, however, you're at 15 to hit him. Marvel, what if? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, uh, not is... quite though. That's a I've got the wrong reroll again. Yay! Be in cover and therefore shall not dive to cover. And then Tavington. Uh, can't <laughs> anybody. Do you think this guy can can take the take the hill? So Tavington will I mean you can there. shoot the bandit, maybe. Reload? Uh nope. He's gonna Oh just he's, back him up. He's my backup for Sir Simon. Simon. That's it. Uh <laughs> Our Argo, uh, we're going to shout prayers, which we do, which fully heals Santiago. 
And then I guess my backup for everyone is going to be Rubio, the old man with the stick. Young priest and an old priest. And then San Diego's gonna reload and plug uh, Sir, Sir Simon, Sir Simon uh, plus one. Uh, that's not gonna hit. No matter what I roll. And that's the end of turn six. Initiative. Everything's gone horribly wrong. Ah, I get to go first though. My guys get to go. So Rubio's gonna go four and then two up, and then he'll run. And his run check passes, which means he can go another four. So two to the top, and then two more over to here. Uh, Santiago's gonna reload. Ah, no, because you're in the open this way. I'm gonna reload and fire with him. Into Sir William. Uh, into, sorry, Archie or Sir Simon? Sir Simon, that's a 13 Sir Simon total. is defense 14. No! No, no, I'm sorry, sorry, no. I got the wrong guy. Sir Simon is defense 13. I got you for 10 damage. Plus one. And he's fired. He's in the open. And he goes. And right. I don't know who he can see. Can he see you? You? He can see Tavington. You? I don't think he can see Rubio. And then I think he plugs Tavington. There you go. All right, so it plus nothing. Tavington, what happens? You've come to a 13. He is 14. You're fine. It's your whole team. Okay. So Tavington is going to... Chase the old man. <laughs> well, hello, old man. And then I would like to beat you to I, I believe you have something I need, which is your life. He's melee plus one. I'm also melee plus one. Now, get ready for it. I'm a 13 to hit. That's a 11, 12. This time I will have the right one. Oh, he's using his last skill die. There you go, get that five or more. Five or more is gonna hit him. Oh. No! Really? You know what they say about an old man? He's a survivor. James con you in the face. Ha <laughs> For seven! Making way of the gun references, no one understands. <laughs> <laughs> leaves and goes home. And that leaves me with Deering. Just Deering, it's just Deering and Davington. Uh, so Deering is going to reload. Okay. And shoot Santiago. Santiago. No, it's just a, just a point blank gunfight. <gasps> so that will be a hit for it's nine, nine damage. damage. He has two left. Oh dear. Santiago didn't like that. He can't really dive for cover. Uh, but he's gonna reload. He's actually gonna shoot the bandit up top. He's gonna fire back at the. Oh no, he's not. He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot. During. during it, plus one, minus one. That's a twelve. Oh my god, I've been so good, but I missed. And then over here, I think I need to move to see him. I'm gonna move to this corner. I'm gonna fire at the bandit. He is effectively a 13-14 because of cover and moving. And I'm plus one. Misses. That's it! End of round. What happens? Initiative! Oh, it's getting spicy! Yeah, we got it. I'm gonna let you hit me or miss me, and then Rubio's gonna fight you. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna take a shot into this no, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna reload and shoot uh, this guy. The uh, top, no, not Tavington, Deering. Um, Deering. So you're a 14 in cover. That will miss. And then I'll reload here and fire at the bandit, who is also a 14. Uh, no, he's a 13 in cover. He's in the open. So that's gonna hit him for 10. Plus one, because I didn't move this turn. And that's my two, and now it's your one. No, you're everybody. I that's will start off with uh, Tavington. Stabbing Rubio. Is now when you beat me down, Ryan Felipe? I see how this goes. Uh, so plus one. That is not enough. nothing this time. All right. He's gonna hit you back. Plus one. Uh, that's a 16. Five damage. And got one left. He's got one left. Yep. And then I guess I'll hit you again, but be fatigued. <laughs> I only make each action once. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're both fatigued now. I guess. <laughs> and then you're gonna shoot Santiago. Yeah, he's only got two health left. You just need a 15 to hit him. He's in cover. No, not so much. The grenadier is gonna reload and just move to get in the war. Go six. That looks like it is. Oh no, Santiago gets to go and he no, reloads. Santiago went. Uh, it's Rubio. Oh, Rubio gets to go. Yeah, so he just swings on you. A plus one. Go with God. Let's <laughs> say four. 12, 13. I have 14. No! Back needs a 13. Oh, no, wait. You were 13 because you're tired. Right. So he took three more. That was it. He's down. I forgot we're both tired. Oh, no, but I was a 12 because I'm also plus zero. So, right. no, we still hit me. So, what'd you roll there? You did hit me there, so I'll take two, and that'll take me down to eight remaining. 
is round. All right, new turn. Who's going first? You. So you are first. I will activate Tabington. One guy. He's going to try to hit me? Yeah. All right. Uh, you're plus one. Yeah. I'm a 13. Not fatigued. New turn. That's right. New turn. 12? Uh, 12. I've got nothing. Oh, so I'll hit you back. I'm plus one as well. 13. I'm 14. <sighs> Tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running a steam up here. I'm just very tired. All right. <laughs> and, and I've only got one left, so that'll be... There's no the monsters? Yeah, yeah, there's no monsters, so it's me. So I'm going to reload uh, with uh, Santiago and plug... Deering. Deering. For nothing. <laughs> He's going to go. He's going to smack you. I'm plus one. I need a 13. I need a 14. No, I'm 14. 13 because you're tired. I'm plus zero because I'm tired. 12. Nothing. I'll return the favor. Oh, no. You're plus zero as well. But you need 12 now. No, you got me for two more. I'm down to six. Uh, the epic struggle up here is the Inquisitor fights the uh, the officer. Well, if you can't beat him, shoot him with a musket at point blank range. <laughs> so my grand here walks up. I killed a demon two minutes ago, buddy. Plus, uh, you're effectively plus two because of I moved and cover, but that's a 13. I'm a 13. So I missed. And so he's fired, and then we'll reload, and then just walk six with this grenadier. But not make it anywhere special. I mean, no, uh, Deering. Deering returns fire and just wants to just. I just want that. Santiago and him just really don't like each other. I'm tired of Santiago. Fair. Not that not tired. Not that tired. Not tired enough. God, new turn. This. New turn. The reinforcements have arrived, but you get to go first. Okay. Uh, with one model. Oh my god. Okay, so we'll do the lap flight at the top of the tower. <laughs> Dabbington trying to seal the Dabbington. deal. You're plus one, you get a 13. Get him! Oh no! my god! <laughs> I would have finished him off too. I got you I wind up. the third time I've gotten a 10 on the power dive and not hit him. Is it a reversal? No, it's not. I missed two. No monsters, so my whole team goes. So Santiago reloads. He wants this bad. He's going to shoot Deering again. Get him! Nothing. We load over here with uh, Ortez and shoot back. Uh, it's not going to hit either. And then my last grenade here is just going to move into melee and be like, "Excuse me, sir. I'm just going to. I'm just going to do this a different way." Six bayonets. Nope. <laughs> and I will return. No. You can back up if you want to. Yeah. I will back up. Yeah. This way. <laughs> Deuces. I'm not done. I gotta oh, go I'm to sorry. Rubio. I'm Rubio's sorry. gonna. Rubio's gonna finish you off. There can be only one. Only one on the top of the tower. That's gonna be it. That's a 15, a 14 uh, total. You minus one. Um, yeah, I'm plus zero, so it's just still 14. And you're minus one of your defense. Oh, I forgot you're plus one to begin yeah, with. Yeah, so that's eight Got damage. Uh, and then I guess he moves. Because he's in combat still. So we go two, four, and just end up next to the tower. We're just gonna forget about that. <laughs> yeah, you watch me throw the officer's body over the wall. And then run. Time to go, Daring. <laughs> Daring's like, nope, nope just two. two. All right, and initiative. Ten. Ten. Again. Seven. Two. two. Rubio finishes his climb, investigates, and finds the King of Spades, the Book of True Names. This could prove invaluable in the fight against the Harvestmen. The figure investigate the clue exits the table. The book is secured. And then we go, hey, where are you going? I don't even have a loaded gun. So I have a loaded gun, so I'm just going to shoot you in the back. I learned about back shooting. I learned from watching the British. That's only a ton. I'll reload afterwards. Yep. And then you're just going to book. Whoop. And then run. Whoop. And that's game. <laughs> We've secured the monastery, but lost the golden child, unfortunately. In the game. Fancy treasures. Uh, so, yes. We investigate two more clue markers. We get two experience. I get an extra one for killing the possessed. Uh, two experience for killing three or more casualties on the opposing side. I lost two guys. How many viewers did I actually kill? Three. Uh, I, three guys were taken out, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get two for that one. Uh, and then you get two for the Silver Exorcist tools and two for... I get two for the Book of uh, True Names. So you're going to get four overall. I'm going to get two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. But I max out at my guys. All right, injury and death for the Golden Child. He's okay. Uh, for Delgado, last of the Grenadiers, also okay. All right, so Sir Simon... Six plus. It's fine. fine. Uh, Rogers. Also fine. Fine. Tavington. Don't die, Tavington. Oh, That's he's a permanent lead. injury. Roll on the permanent injury table. So roll die. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm just gonna change that before I forget. I mean, you just get thrown off a building by an old man. One, one leg wound, minus one speed. Yeah. Ruby has proven his worth now by throwing you off the top of a building. Ortiz and Torres both earned a level. Uh, or Torres just gains a courage, but at 18, I get to increase my melee or shoot. So I get a plus one shoot. I mean, you just kill a demon. Gato and the Golden Child both survived. Oh, I forgot to roll for Briner. What happens to Briner? He did die at the top of the building, which means you get two extra XP. Ooh, he's permanently injured. Oh, two extra? Yep. And the permanent injury for Briner is a three. Arm wound, minus one melee stat. No! Excellent. I think I had her off this tower from a bandit, so he's, I'm just gonna say his mass plus acceleration is probably fairly high. It's not supposed to bend that way. So there we go, at the end, splitting the difference. The Spanish managing to get one of the holy relics and the English the other from the monastery. Uh, and the trail now leads to a shipment of such items leaving uh, port, which both of the Silver Bandit teams are going to investigate. In the final mission for the Silver Bandit Adventures from the Core Rulebook, we'll see you for that one in two weeks. Till then, Amash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Desperate Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.